Welcome back, Bowling World fans. So, if you did not know, I've been in evacuation basically for the last two weeks. Hurricane Ida came through basically all of Louisiana. We got hit pretty hard here in Kenner. The people that are still really, really affected are the people from St. Charles Parish. I have a lot of customers that live in that area, so if anybody needs anything, please reach out to me. I'll try to help the best I possibly can. So, again, this is going to be kind of a little bit of a different video, mainly because of the fact that uh, it's not going to be a normal business week. Just because of the fact that the hurricane hit and it was kind of a disaster for everybody. A lot of damage in that nearby area. We're waiting on an Uber and then we'll get to work. See what we have to do in there and clean up the shop. end up making out pretty good in this whole situation so I'm gonna get to cleaning up I'm gonna set you guys down somewhere I'm just trying to figure things out uh, and kind of get this front of the shop reorganized and cleaned up so let's do that so vlog this is Paul what's up people so Paul is the person that got me out of Louisiana. What, what was your exact words to me, Paul? Oh, you're gonna die up in here. <laughs> you stay here. So Paul basically told me, uh, go screw yourself, you're not staying in Louisiana. I ended up leaving with Paul on Friday, and then here we are once again. But yeah, no, Paul didn't let me stay behind because he didn't want to see his ball driller die, basically. True. Yeah. That's true, too. Yeah, exactly. Shop is cleaned up, everything is good, nothing is cracked. And I mean, with the fact that there's at least a hundred bowling balls in this shop, pretty uh, nice to see that we didn't have any bowling balls just kind of up and poof or break or anything. So I gotta do some uh, resurface work that's been sitting here since before the hurricane that I'm gonna try to get done today before I bowl league, because I have to bowl league tonight. The biggest thing that I overlooked whenever coming back and reopening is uh, all the drill bits have rust on them. I'm waiting on somebody to bring me more rust remover or any WD-40 and I'm basically going to sit all the drill bits in a big chunk of just stuff to clean it all out with and see what I can do. Alright guys, so this is the post-league update. I forgot that I didn't record anything while I was bowling league. Bowled 6.30, uh, so nothing too crazy. Uh, honestly, the middle game is what really killed me. I went 2.10 the first game, it was a front 5. I went 6 out, which was the 2.47.9, or 2.478. Uh, I got the 2 and the 8 out of that combination. And then I went 9 spare, strike, 9 spare, 9 out. I missed a 7 pin in the 10th frame. Just, again, didn't really feel comfortable. And then I shot 183, game two. Just wasn't really comfortable. I'll post the scores. I threw a gutter also in the last game starting off. Uh, and then I went nine spare, eight spare, strike, nine spare. And then I shot a seven bagger to close out that game for 237. So 630 after two weeks of really not bowling. We also have a tournament this Sunday, which is the SIBC doubles scratch tournament which I thought was supposed to be wacky doubles. Apparently the flyer that they have in the bowling center is wrong and it's supposed to be a scratch doubles event. So we'll get some footage of that. All right, here we are at the bowling alley. All right, so we've been cleaning up the shop, just kind of getting a couple things tidied up that I didn't have time for beforehand, but we're basically cleaning up underneath the counter. So right now this is what so it looks the like. counter all underneath here. It's nice and tidied up. I still need to do the drill bits, which I haven't been able to get to because I need a uh, toothbrush for that stuff. Alright, so big part of my job at the moment is actually the social media coordinating stuff. So I need to take this Obsession Tour Pearl and this Power Torque and go on the lanes and take some pictures of those two. So I'm going to go ahead and grab one of my lights that is actually currently fully charged. Uh, so I'm going to grab this light. I'm going to go out there and try to get pictures 
of these two bowling balls as well as my already drilled Polaris and Infamous. Uh, that as much as they're drilled, I'm gonna have to make them look like they haven't been drilled. I have to go out on the lanes and do those. I don't wanna take any more pictures in the shop currently because of the fact that there's a lot of mess still in here. But we got everything cleaned up. So I got all that cleaned out underneath there so there's a lot more space. We're gonna go ahead and grab our light, go on the line, take some pictures. I'll probably snap in a couple of the pictures right here sometime right now or just kind of make like a little picture montage of the pictures uh, sometime after this. So let's get to it. By the way, if you're watching this episode, this episode is coming out on September 23rd. And by the time this episode is out, the next day will be the release date of this bowling of these four bowling balls. So make sure you guys go to bowlingworld.biz down in the link in the description. Make sure you guys click those and go pre-order yours today. Again, those four balls are absolutely phenomenal. So yeah, make sure you guys check those out in the link in the description. Uh, not a lot, a whole lot going on in the bowling center at the moment. We have a few people bowling down that way, but we don't have any leagues or anything because none of the leagues are restarting just yet. We'll see what we have later on through the night. Hi vlog, now off home we go. Here's the situation. We need to drill this web pearl. We're gonna cut out the fingers out of this command solid, which Josh just doesn't like this two inch pin layout. He feels like it's way too early for him, so he gave it a try. We're gonna go ahead and plug it and then we're gonna switch it to something more like a four or five inch pin, get them like closer up here. Something that he sees a little bit better. So yeah, let's get into drilling this. We do have the Paradise Businessmen League that comes in tonight, so we'll see them tonight. So hopefully we see a little bit of business. And I'm wearing this hoodie again. Uh, it's kind of chilly. Wanna say hi, Josh? Josh, what did he not like about your two inch pin layout? Uh, let's, let's, get, let's get customer interaction on why don't we like two inch pin layouts. Well, two pinch layout. Rolls out and it has nothing left. Basically, there, there you go. That's so, it. if you bowl in a higher friction house, two inch pin layouts might not be the thing that you need. Uh, right. That ball probably won't get a colonial. Maybe. Do you throw a colonial? Yeah, it's kind of. It's iffy. Yeah, okay. It's so, iffy. if you have a lot of forward roll, uh, two inch pin layouts are not your thing. Just yeah. put it that way. Two inch pin layouts, not good for high friction houses. Keep that in mind. So this ball is gonna get a slight oval on this. Uh, we're going from a three quarter inch bit to basically have to make it a 55 inch or a 55 64 inch of a hole uh, side to side at a 45 degree angle. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. If you didn't know, with uh, 45 degree thumbs, equal cuts so we don't have to actually offset the drill press any. It's just moving in one singular direction instead of moving it in two directions at different increments. As always, whenever I do oval cuts, I'm gonna go ahead and check it. So I'm gonna check this, to make sure it's cutting in the right direction. Okay, we didn't cut a lot there. Uh, I like doing smaller cuts at a time. And again, we're constantly check this as I cut it. That way I make sure I don't cut too much of it. It looks like I just need to make two more cuts at that same amount, uh, and then we'll be good. So let's do it. We're gonna put green in here just because it matches the ser or the logos and all that. Uh, and then we'll wait for this customer to come pick up. I'm gonna shoot him a text and let him know that it's ready. And yeah, again, that's the Hammer Web Pearl, guys. Uh, this ball is actually really phenomenal. If you guys haven't yet looked at the video for this ball, uh, you can check it out right there. Uh, there's also Bryce's video, which is also right there. Uh, yeah, no, ball's pretty phenomenal. It hits pretty hard. Uh, here's a couple clips of me and Bryce throwing it. So again, if you guys want to check this out, make sure you guys go to bowlingworld.biz. Ball's phenomenal. I just sold, this is my last one that I'm selling here at this location. And then if anybody ever wants one, they can always order one through me or go to bowlingworld.biz. So yeah, uh, I got to make space for the new releases that come out next week. So that'll be interesting. All right, so here's the situation. So we have rust all over our drill bits. This is probably the least bad one if it comes down to it but these still look pretty bad. So what I did is Paul actually went and picked up this Naval Jelly Loctite Rust Dissolver. And it says here, you have to obviously use gloves, that's smart. 
but you're gonna scrape away loose rust and dirt with a toothbrush, which I have a toothbrush right here. Uh, and then brush on liberally, work into pitted areas, and leave on for five to 10 minutes, and then rinse off in fresh water. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a bucket that I have here in the shop. I am going to dust or brush off a little bit of the rust first, and then I'm gonna dip into some of this navel jelly, and then I'm gonna just basically sit here and rub in every single drill bit until they're all cleaned up. This is probably gonna take a couple hours. So we're gonna do this and the drill bits, and we're gonna put them all into a bucket, and yeah. So we gotta do these one by one. So, let's glove up, let's do it. So we went ahead and did all these, and now all of them look way, way better. And I'm gonna go ahead and set them back up over here on the wheel, which is all labeled. I cleaned this up as well a little bit. Uh, basically, I'm just gonna look for each hole and set them up. So I got a little time lapse of me putting that together. Things are a little bit different, obviously, because of the fact that we don't have the full run of league going through the building, but we do have some league going on back here. Yeah, we have a little bit of league going on right down here. But basically that league is the businessmen league. We did have some customers call that had stuff sitting here before they, the hurricane hit itself. Those customers are gonna come pick up all their stuff over the next couple weeks. I have some that are waiting on stuff that was ordered and just didn't get delivered because of the hurricane itself. By the way, did you guys know you can buy Bowling World gift certificates? If you go to any of our locations, you can actually purchase these and they're attached to your name or anybody's names that you want them to be. That way you guys can give these to people for the holidays. I just had a customer that came in, purchased this Obsession Tour. I'm gonna go ahead and take care of this Parallax Effect and this Arc CX-1 and get these switched over to vacuum, get those switched over to vacuum and then drill this up and then we'll close up for the night. Now that we're in the bowling center, uh, let's go ahead and figure out what we need to do. We have to cut this down, cut this down, and then cut out the thumb hole and plug this thumb hole. Then we got to cut this down and then drill it to these specs. 
And then I also have this authority that a customer left last night that said he wanted to shrink his thumb hole. He said that was a little bit too loose. So yeah, let's get to it. All right, so Paul wanted to go with something a little bit different. So we did a 70 by three and three eighths by 25 inch or 25 degree layout. Just basically a pin up just over his ring finger and then the CG is a little bit closer into his palm uh, just to give him a different look. All right, it's Friday. Best thing possible. You can keep watching your video, Paul. Don't worry about me. Best thing possible just happened. We had the order that didn't arrive because of the hurricane come in. We also got in the new, Let's give it a shot. The new RCX2 Zen Master and some bags. The Dice Up Tote Flame. This is the Hammer Triple Roller. Uh, the other trap Hammer Triple Roller. So the Black Widow one and then the Flame one. This is another Triple Roller. I don't know what brand this is. Oh, this is a Strike Player Triple Roller. The Track Triple Roller, which I have over here actually. The Standing Totes. All right, so we had somebody come in. We're drilling them a Radical Results, the original results. I haven't seen one of these in a while, uh, but we're going pin down, already laid it out. He also uses the Jopo Twist Group. If you guys haven't seen the YouTube video for this one, it's linked right here. But these guys are absolutely phenomenal. We also had two ball damages that just walked in, but we just had a little bit of a gouge happen right here. And then same thing on this bowling ball. Where is it? Uh, right there, so we'll clean that up with some resurface work. Tournament starts at 7 o'clock, so we're waiting and seeing. It's 7 o'clock that it starts, right? 6.37? It starts at 7, I'm pretty sure. But we're waiting for them to come in. I'm going to go ahead and get that stuff done before they come in. That way I can take care of people that are coming for the tournament. Also get some video of the tournament people. It's 7? 7. Okay. Cool. Okay, so we got in an Obsession Tour Pearl. And Paul, who just walked out of the shop, is actually gonna get this drilled up. He already paid for his already in advance. So we're gonna go ahead and drill this up for Paul. Here's the spec sheets. Uh, we went with 60 by four by 30. So let's go ahead and get this punched up. First one out of the shop. Woo. So, uh, we went ahead and sold the Spy, so we got rid of the Spy finally, we also got rid of a T-Zone. Uh, two really, really nice customers I called earlier today and just wanted to get some stuff going, they're getting into bowling. The term is going on right now, I'm going to give you guys a quick look at that. I still need to plug a couple bowling balls, so we're going to go ahead and do that. And after that, we're done for the night here in the shop, and then we'll head home, and then open back up tomorrow. I got League that's bowling tomorrow at 5 o'clock or 4 o'clock, something like that. I know you're not. Home sweet home.
I'm gonna stay here a couple more minutes until I finish the first game and then I am gonna head off home. We're gonna get some filming in tomorrow of the tournament. Obviously a whole bunch of great bowlers are in this area so I'll get some shots of all the great bowlers that are in this area. Okay guys, so it is currently Sunday. It is right now 10 o'clock on the nose. We are currently waiting for the first shift of the SIBC Scratch Doubles Tournament. I walked in at like 9 o'clock this morning and just got to cleaning up. Well, well, how does it go? How's it go? Do it. Yeah. All right, Paul. So we molded your thumb. How does it feel? It feels actually really good. Surprisingly, surprisingly, uh, it surprised me. surprisingly equal to what your actual thumb feels like. Correct. So this is obviously in post-production. Uh, I may have recorded a final clip of me outroing the vlog and realized that my microphone now is was not on during the time of me filming that. So thank you guys so much for watching. I am so glad that I was able to bring back the vlogs. Make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button. Make sure you guys turn on those post notification bell. Leave a comment down below on what you would want to see next. So I will see you guys in the next episode in a couple weeks. Have a good one. Peace out. Talk to you guys later.